You know, something I didn't really feel I did properly in the last video, and that is talking about ship control once your ships are out of your planets. So, let's see if I can get to a free-for-all game. I can't. Okay, but these guys are all new except for Rakota. Well, let me just start. We'll see if I can make it work out. So let me just cut right here in case this game ends up being a horrible one. Alright, maybe this game will be a little bit better. We'll see. I'm a perfect color for this. I don't know why I'm saying, oh, perfect, okay, that's a perfect example of ship control right there. When you, um, have to redirect your ships like that, it can, it can save, a, it can save you a lot of times. Um, the idea is, is that you, you can make your opponent think you're attacking somewhere, and it turns out you're actually attacking somewhere else. And this, um, I've noticed is actually, it works out pretty well, like, it, I'll show you, what, this is what I'm talking about, like, let's go for, uh, this here. And if he starts defending it, we'll just move our ship somewhere else. For Pete's sake, I'm probably taking him. Okay, so he's def he's attacking back. With everything he's got, so I'll defend with everything I got. I think I can hold on to it. Cool. Yeah. I'll keep defending just in case. But I, I can do much about it. Yeah, he's over. He did not have enough economy to really afford to keep that pressure on. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, steal that. Okay. So yeah, you just grab you grab your ships like this, and you can really distract the enemy pretty easily. Hey, purple, what the heck are you doing? Come on, dude, really? No. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go over here and try taking over this guy. It's basically me, me versus pink now, so we'll see what we can do. Okay. So you got ships flying in everywhere. Let's redirect them a bit there. If you can, if you do get, get good at redirecting ships, you can really dominate the, the, you can really easily take over everything. It's so easy at that point. But you have, I mean, there's still, you need to have an economy to back it up. You can't, Micro your ships away of every from everything. And after a while, like in this case, it didn't even matter. I can move my ships if I want to, but there's no real point. That was a good example. Well, he's still alive, but let's just make sure he doesn't take that. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it. Not bad. I'll keep trying to show some more examples. Alright, let's do this, guys. So this time it's just a 1v1, which is, I think that's a, a better representation of, of a good player, if you can do 1v1s. Well, I'm going to move it up to 65%, actually. Usually a good number for me. Anyway, what we're trying to do is just get a big economy so we can start attacking. I like to do that. That is my strategy. Everyone has their own strategies, though. It, de it depends on how like you play the game, really. And either way, it's fine. Let's just get a, some defenses here. Because I don't want to lose this. And I think at this point, he has still some economy, so I, don't have to, I can just push out take it over most likely. He might be able to hold on for a bit longer. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. And then the question is, what do we do next? Well, I think I'm gonna take over this 10. Yeah, I got that. Okay, he's going after something. I don't know what this guy's going after. He's actually ranked high, so he's, uh, he has a strategy behind it, I'm, just, I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Okay, well. Quick, switch. I'll go over there. Yeah, there we go. That's freaking <laughs> ship control right there. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we have three person free for all. Might be a bit better of a representation of what's going on here. Ah! We'll have to wait a bit longer. So, whenever people join, there's like, I think it's a 10 second timer. Or whenever someone leaves. It reminds me a lot of Call of Duty. I never liked that method. Anyway, so it's gonna be a four player now. So, we gotta get. It's really important to have a huge economy for those. Otherwise, you're not gonna last very long. Okay. So we start taking these over. Unfortunately, these are kind of expensive. The little guys weren't very expensive for planets, but these guys are. So it's gonna take a while. Oh, this guy gave up. Okay, that's actually pretty pretty awesome. I, I'm gonna just take over this and have no resistance whatsoever. Okay, let's get some defenses back over here though, in case things go poorly. Now with this economy, we should be able to really take over a lot of things here. So let's do just that. Okay, so we'll take we'll mess around with blue. Go take these little islands over. See what this guy's up to. What's he gonna do? Try and attack that? That's not gonna work. Okay. Let's go over here now. Alright, alright. Cool. Well, there goes this guy. I gave up. Cool. Let's take this over too. Take over this one. So, what I'm doing right now is just singling out the quick and easy uh, upgrades or planets. And then, yeah. You know, this guy's defending with everything he's got, so I can just move out really easily. And even if he does take it over, which I don't think he will be able to. I've got this in the bag. Sprout your ships and GG. Okay. Yeah. Um, so ship control, it's something that it's very circumstantial. Most of the time it's not ent entirely useful. 
Um, and usually when you're doing it, you're at a disadvantage anyway. That's when I noticed I really need to use my ship control, so most of the time you'll still end up dying. But yeah, ship control is really a good way to get ahead, for sure. If, if you're behind, definitely try working on that.